Hi, my name's Steve Ling from PC Paramedics. I'm going to give you some useful hints and tips uh, to get more out of your computer using experience. Many of you may have seen the alternative browser options that Microsoft have included with some of the latest downloads of updates. Um, Mozilla Firefox, Opera, Safari, and may have well installed, uninstalled Internet Explorer to free up disk space. You may have used those alternative browsers and found that you do prefer Internet Explorer and wish to put it back on the PC. There's two ways of doing that. We can use the same applet that allowed us to install alternative browsers to install the latest version of Internet Explorer, version 8, or we can use the control panel of the PC to simply put the Internet Explorer back onto the PC. I'll show you those now. The first way, we open up the alternative browser applet, click OK, and here we see Internet Explorer 8 with the ability to just simply install it. I won't run that now because it's quite a lengthy process, but that's a simple way of putting Internet Explorer back on your PC. The alternative way is to use the control panel, click on start, click on control panel, and click on add and remove programs. This is in fact the reverse of taking Internet Explorer off the PC. Down the left hand side we have four options. The option we want is to add and remove Windows components because Internet Explorer is an embedded component of Windows. We click on there and very shortly we see our Windows components list coming up and we can see Internet Explorer and it's minus the tick box. We're going to check the tick box and simply click next and wait for the PC to do its thing which it's done very quickly and then we can close those dialog boxes down, click on start, all programs and there's our Internet Explorer returned to use. So that's how you put Internet Explorer back on the PC having removed it.